Oh, come on, you piece of junk. You can make it. Oh, I think it's going to fall apart before we even make it into the gas station. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, that sounds absolutely pleasant. Oh, boy. You know what? We're lucky we even made it this far. Oh, wow. Okay, the window busted. So, folks, I want to introduce you to my sweet ride. It is an 89 Chevrolet Caprice. We're going to actually run from the law in this thing. And if I am successful, I can have the next tier up. We're going to upgrade this bad boy into an unstoppable beast. Now, real quick, if you're wondering what mod this is, it's called Codename Old Full Size. But that isn't the only mod I have enabled here. We have an add-on pack that adds the Oldsmobile and the Chevrolet. We are lightening up, and oh my goodness, I am pushing the gas all the way down, and I'm pretty sure if I push any harder, my foot's going to go through the rusty floorboard. All right, you know what? We've got to get away to the law. So I think a successful escape would be getting up to the visitor center. Uh, I saw, or at least I heard some of the police going after me. Am I not going fast enough? I'm, so oh, yep, okay, we are going fast enough. Oh my goodness, it is so slow and crappy. I want the upgraded version of this. Uh, also, we'll go over some of the other configurations. He almost pushed the traffic out in front of me. What was the point of that? Oh, okay, there goes the door. By the way, did I mention on the rusty versions, uh, I think the parts are really kind of brittle. You saw how the door just popped off. Like, oh my goodness. I don't even know if the engine's gonna make it. It's running really rough. The amount of backfires when I let off, uh, it honestly kind of sounds cool. It's like a different version of the burbles, except for it's like old and crappy sounding. Okay, I don't know how we're getting this far. Are they right behind me? Uh, okay, no. Uh, all right, we are somewhat doing it. Uh, I would think since it's old and busted, it could probably take a, a bit of a beating, but I could be wrong here. Uh, I love this though. Like, I have ideas with this mod. I want to run these down the Crash Hard Mountain and see if they can even make it. I feel like all the parts are going to be falling off. Like, you don't even need like the random mechanical failures. You've already got a failure of a vehicle here. Oh my goodness, the whole force is up here. How am I supposed... Oh, okay. Yes, that was... Wait, the... Okay. No, 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 no. We are good. Even if you stop me, you have not stopped me. I'm still rolling. Like, that That does not even count. Oh my goodness, the door shot off when he hit me in the rear. Move out the... Am I stopped? Is this considered... Oh, I, I don't think we made it, folks. Oh my goodness, the damage. It's weird looking. Like... It's just like a completely different style knowing that this thing is old and brittle. Uh, I do love the whole fact that when I get hit, doors fly off. It's like, oh, you weren't damaged in that section, but here, take a door. Yep, we are now rolling down the back of the uh, mountain here, and there goes my hopes and dreams. I kind of want to just let this slide off the cliff real quick. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is great. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't think I can cover this whole car in one episode i think we're gonna have to have a multiple part wait why is the door like attached on the rear section there what if we went the opposite direction i feel like we always take the highway here all right i mean okay that was a nice little uh e-brake rip there that that worked pretty good actually yeah buddy watch out for the old rusty turd bucket you know i would like to actually see some beam you drive not necessarily rust like you don't set in the game long enough for your car to rust but like the dirt on like the windows and stuff, it would be cool if the uh, the cars in BMG could get dirty. And you know what? I'm gonna pull out the inner power wash simulator. Uh, if you can give me a power washer in BMG, uh, this would be the ultimate. I mean, it already is the ultimate car sim to me. But it'd be even better. Come on, buddy. We just gotta make it. I mean, I'm gonna upgrade my car probably regardless. But I want to feel like I earned it here. Uh, watch out. Okay, there goes top there. You gotta watch out for them vans. Uh, also, I believe there's another suspect running in front of us. That could be a good thing. It might distract the cops. Oh, never mind. They're gonna spin out. Uh, okay, watch out. Uh, there are some off-road configurations to these. Um, I would like to actually have one of those right now because I know for sure we'd get away from the cops. Oh, man. Dude, what is up with the cops? They just like want to hit you head on. Oh, yeah. Old and busted. Um, oh, okay. This thing does It's not... Wait, it is not turning. I think I have damage. Yeah, there's... Something's... What is broken? I know it doesn't handle this bad. Like, I feel like I'm driving... Not even a boat. Like, I feel like I'm driving a cruise ship right now. And I can assure you, it's not the quality of the mod. Like, the mod is fine. Uh, this is meant to be bad here. This rusted out version of it. Uh, we will check out the normal stuff here in a bit. Okay, I feel like they're right... Oh, it's not turning! <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Um, I think we bit off a little more than we can chew here. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Is that the transmission? Oh my goodness! It popped through the dash. Uh, the drive shaft. Oh man, if you had people in the back seat, uh, potentially if you had a passenger, they would be like ultra dead right now. This is a dangerous vehicle to drive. So folks, we didn't earn the ultimate upgrade in there. We're gonna have to earn it a different way, but I wanna show you something that's funny. Watch this. So I'm gonna drop this car from, I mean, what is this, like maybe 10 feet? Uh, let's go, boom. <laughs> the doors fell off. I swear we bent the whole car there. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, we got to get out of this thing. So uh, let's go ahead and go into my vehicles here. So you see the code name old full size. That's the normal version of the mod. I do have the add on pack, which adds the Caprice up here. And we have an Oldsmobile too. Both absolutely classic cars, but I like that they've added the junker versions of it. You've got demo derby versions. There's a limo of this thing. There's Highway Patrol. I mean, look at this, like, Highway Patrol special here. Uh, this thing is ridiculous looking. Like, holy man. That is an upgraded car and a half. So we go down further. There's Crash Test Dummy. There's a uh, some weird pink versions of it. There's off-roading versions of it. Okay, so since I want to check out the Oldsmobile, I am going to give myself an off-roading version. But it is still going to be the Rusty Turd Bucket. <laughs> That's glorious. Look at the interior. I bet you it smells like cheese in here. Well, the engine doesn't sound like it's running as rough. Um, all right. Yo, okay, this thing instantly takes off. It's a really stiff feeling suspension on this thing. I didn't know when they were gonna go with an off-roader, they're just gonna stick like concrete blocks under it and have no like actual like suspension. Like the rear, like it rolls, but it is stiff. Um, I swear also the tires are slightly deflated. Like, all my tires kind of look down. All right, so the visitor center it is. Uh, I got to earn the upgrade here. Uh, we'll probably do an episode with, like, some of the police cars and stuff uh, here in the future. I do want to take these to the Crash Hard Mountain. All right, we've ticked off the cops. Uh, the doors still feel flimsy, which is good. Nice, old, and brittle. These are all rust buckets, and this is what I needed in Beam and G Drive. Okay, the cops are going to try to stop us. We need to use the off-roading capabilities here of this vehicle. So I need to find a... Uh, where's a good place to drive off at? I mean, we're almost to where I want to be. You know what? Here, let's just... Ooh, there's a trail right there. All right, so we're going to make them work for it. All right, the suspension isn't as stiff as I thought it was. Uh, it looks like it's working a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I mean, when I say a little bit, I do mean a little bit. It still feels funny. I wonder if the harder you drive this vehicle, the more it falls apart. Like, without hitting stuff, but, like, bouncing... Like, I feel like that's a thing. Obviously, you saw that you can bounce it and the doors pop off. Like, what else falls off of this thing? Wee, here we go. Oh, we're doing it right now, folks. Uh, we're technically escaping. The cops haven't found me down here, which is, oh my goodness, it would not turn there. Oh, door just popped open. <laughs> yeah, this car is really random. Like, sometimes it just stops turning. I haven't quite figured it out. Like, it feels legit like something's broken. And then all of a sudden you get your turning ability back. It's like the steering locks, which I don't think it's actually doing that, but maybe it is. Okay, it's gonna get pretty tough. Oh, I just watched the cop wipe itself out. Uh, how do we get by here? Watch out, everybody. Do I have a push bar? I do not have a push bar on this. Oh, make sure they're ticked off. And oh, they got my doors. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. No, V-Boss, what are you doing? Uh oh, okay, that might've busted the radiator. We're good. I didn't notice there was a for sale sign in the window. That's awesome, I need to read that. I'm not sure I'd be paying 1200 bucks for this. Um, maybe they pay you $1,200 to take it away. Uh, no, what are you doing? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, 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 we're still going. Oh, the right front, it's pushed. Did I lose my drive shaft? I have no drive. Wait, okay, hold on, it's still at... Well, you've got to be kidding me. Wait, is that the drive shaft right there? What is it doing? It's like locked. So real quick, I just wanted you guys to, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little sales pitch here about what is absolutely okay with this vehicle, because obviously strong brakes, run smooth, rust free, except for a few spots. Doesn't matter, we just got murdered by a cop, um, but yeah. Okay, we're back over in the uh, Oldsmobile, so there are some race car versions of this thing. I, I feel like maybe using one of those. 
I mean, there's just a ton of cool versions of this. There's also an 800 horsepower, like, supercharged one. Okay, so we got the old busted race car. It, it sounds like it's running a, a little bit on the rough side. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into here. There are a, a ton of parts for this, by the way. Like, I think maybe scrambling these, uh, doing a random parts episode would be good, too. So, yeah, we've got a ton of different motors here. There is an 800 horsepower one. Uh, let's go ahead and shove that. In oh, yeah, that looks like the perfect upgrade here. I got to get myself something. Also, one thing I want you guys to notice, look, the engine itself is actually rusty, too. Like, it's not, like, a perfectly nice engine. Okay, certainly I can get this done with 800 horsepower, right? Oh, yes. Oh, that thing lights up the tires, and it's old, rusted, and brittle. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I should have bought a new set of tires. Oh, my goodness. This is... Okay, this is what I needed as far as upgrades. This is what happens when you put 800 horsepower in a rusty turd bucket. Oh, dude, you can do burnouts for days in this thing. Okay, come on, go that way. <laughs> okay, I just needed the hookup. I'm pretty sure the tires are pretty bad. So it might take... Oh, I'm still wheel spinning in third gear. Uh, okay, this might be my favorite thing we've done. We've uh, upgraded this thing by sticking a rusty 800 horsepower engine. I don't know if this thing's going to be reliable or not. Watch out, watch out. Okay, going up here is fine. Okay, I need to cut back across. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I would be frightened. Okay, I can't... Look at the brakes! Okay, the brakes! <laughs> it took forever to slow down. I almost don't want the upgraded version. I like this. This is like the best thing ever. Okay, let's light it up here. We got this. We got... Okay, I'm just doing a... Okay, you gotta admit, that was a nice little slide there. I know Komodo does a lot of, like, incompetent driving, but, I mean, occasionally I have a nice little moment. Okay, I just gotta get by you guys. Like, I have 800 horsepower here. I, I should be plenty fast to go up. I, you know, I think choosing this path is just a bad thing. Uh, there's just not a lot of room. If somebody gets behind me, they're gonna ram me. I feel like I'm actually getting, like, a police escort through, to be honest with you. Okay, cop, you're gonna have to give me some room and gas it by you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what do you think that person in the ETK was thinking? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Watch that one. Okay, the burn side. Oh. Wait, <laughs> now the tail light's just hanging there. I feel like a lot of the parts are just like on hinges or something. It's actually kind of hilarious looking. Okay, this motor might get it done for us. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why does this keep happening to me? I cannot make it in these cars. Uh you know what it would be kind of fun? What if I did stick a good set of tires on here? I mean, look at the tires. They're kind of green. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're uh, rotten. Okay, I want a set of new tires, new rims on here, and then I should be able to put a new tire on there, right? Yeah, the, you got junkyard front tires. I don't need that. Uh, let's, so let's put new tires on here. So I'm wondering if these are actually gonna grip. It still looks like they're low. Like, does it not? Um, okay, it was fine. Oh, let's put some hubcaps on that bad boy. There we go. All right, let's do that to the rear. We should be... I mean, I say we're good. We're probably still screwed, but, you know, maybe it'll work a little bit better. Okay, so we have put new tires on this thing. Do we... Do we get an attic grip or... Oh, it feels a little bit more hooked up. I wonder if there was... Like, were those actually providing less grip? Oh, yeah, no, this is... It's still got that wheel spin because uh, it does have still incredible power for a vehicle like this. But I feel like, okay, it feels like it's braking a little bit better. Definitely turning a little bit better. It slides still, but okay, I think we have something here. Oh my goodness, it actually has grip. Uh, it still dances around. It's still an old car, but geez, this is definitely... Okay, Komodo definitely shouldn't have opened his mouth up. Um, oh, <laughs> why? I give up. You know what? We're just going to give ourselves the upgrade here. Also, the damage model on this is kind of cool. Like, that thing completely fell apart. Uh, there is a cage on the inside that did nothing. <laughs> I wonder if the cage was rusty, too. Hold on, let's move it over here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> let's just, you know what? Let's just go grab our, our upgraded version. So, this is what I was wanting to pull out. This is a full-blown, like, upgraded, cleaned-up drag racing version of it. Got the drag tires. Got the stig on the inside. Doesn't fall apart when you drop it over a foot. Like, 
Look at this. This is what you're capable of putting together in this vehicle. So yeah, this is the Caprice version. I believe this is an 89. Uh, but yeah, you got that. You got the Oldsmobile. I mean, there's just a lot to this mod. There's a lot to unpack here. But check this out. Oh, yes. This thing is a monster. I do have uh, broken textures on the gauges. Uh, it might just be an issue with some of the other mods I have enabled. I'll have to go back and check. But my goodness. Dude, this thing's a monster. Okay, you know what? Let's roll out here. Yeah, buddy. Got the blower hanging out the top. Okay, is this thing a little less deadly? We gotta do a crash test with this. Like, go to the actual crash test area and just see if you could survive with a non-rusted out version. Oh, buddy. Okay, light it up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if we were on the drag strip with this, no telling what kind of speed we would get. I mean, we're getting a little bit of, like, wheel spin here. Uh-oh. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Hey, that held up better at, like, hitting something at 200 than the rusted version did uh, hitting, like, a pebble. I mean, the Stig is definitely mangled in there. It's got a bar through its head, but that held up quite a bit better. But, yeah, I've got ideas with this. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time.